Hey everybody. How's it going? I wanted to show you all this globe. I like this site. A lot of Queens is kind of similar to Brooklyn. It's not exactly the nicest looking or you know the fancy schmanciest or anything. And but this park that this globe is in is absolutely beautiful. Like you see a lot of people when they're doing their their delivery drives, like a lot of the DoorDash people will just kind of stop and go to the park just to enjoy the peacefulness of it. This is the Unisphere. It, is, it says it's dedicated to man's aspirations towards peace, towards through mutual understanding and symbolizing his achievements in an expanding universe for the 1964 World's Fair. I wanted to show it to Erica. I don't know where she is now, actually. I think she's... Can you guys spot Erica? Yeah, I hope she has another ride home. So speaking of the ride home, this is my new bike over here. Check this out. This is Siuba Mundo Lux. They have an electric version, but it sucks. This is the real electric version right here. BBS HD. I got two 35 amp hour batteries. I actually surrounded it with, uh, I think this like this backing material and then I taped over it. So that's, it's not held together by tape. It's a battery that I put, I put stuff around it that's about an inch in thickness on each side. And then I taped around it. I'm gonna heat shrink around it eventually. So just in case it, uh, you know, it gets stabbed or anything like that, or gets hit with a rock, doesn't explode. I got two of them, one on each side. That goes to this diode bridge over here. This is a three-phase bridge rectifier. I can actually plug in a third battery into it. So the way this works is each battery is only being used 50%. So if I'm putting out like 20 amps, it's probably only taking 10 or 11 amps from each battery there. Maybe some loss. Phase runner controller. This is the bottom of a MacBook. I really have to dremel this over here because this is kind of ragged and sharp. This is my DC to DC converter for my lights, my horn, my charger. That's my charger. My waterproofing for the fang. Up here, I have a cycle analyst. This thing's really cool. It says I went 25 miles with, it took 8.7 amp hours to go that far. Got my switches. So this is for my charger. This is for my second charger. Because in addition to having two USB-C cables come out of that charger, I also have one over here just in case I need to charge something that's not USB-C. I have my own choice there, so I can turn those on and off. That's for the controller itself. That's for the lights. Uh, this allows me to choose what type of light. If it's a, is it a normal or a high beam? This is a turn signal, which is really cool. That's a horn. I haven't figured out I'm going to use these two buttons for. This is this this is probably going to be emergency turn off. Like you know, if the controller goes crazy or the throttle thinks that it's if it gets stuck or something. So this check this out. I got turn signals back here. Look at that. I got my. Uh, like, there's a tail light that comes with it, but it's not really that bright, so I got this thing. I got to mount it a little better. I got these held in there with my L brackets, which I had to break open to fit it, but I got my turn signals. These bags, I can put tools in and all different types of stuff. I got food in there. Isn't it cool? So I sit here. Erica sits here. It's a decent bike. It came with a wheel that was really, really, really fucked up and needed a lot of work. Uh, Yuba pretty much told me, yeah, I know that you sent this video of the box being badly damaged. Uh, you, you, you can pay for that out of pocket. <sighs> That's why they have that 800 number on the back of credit cards for when... But anyway, it went... It's a nice... It's pretty nice. I'm going to put a third battery over here. So this way, if I'm using 30 amps, each battery is only going to be putting out 10 or 11, which is really cool if I have three. Because the thing is... The less you use, the less amperage coming out of each battery, the longer it'll last. So this battery will last way longer if it's putting out 5 to 10 amps than it will if it's putting out 10 to 20. So if you have multiple batteries working in parallel, you don't, it's not like you get twice the longevity or three times the longevity. It's more like 2.2 or 2.3 or 2.4 times the longevity because the battery stays charged much longer when it's being asked to output less amperage. So I'm going to have another one over there. Got an XT90 here. I can charge them all at once using this. I actually got one of those J1772 to IEC connectors. So I can take 240 volt, 15 amp out, which is probably gonna be, I could get that to a power supply that's 84 volts, that puts out 20 or 30 amps. If I get a 30 amp power supply that's 84 volt, I can charge all three batteries, maybe inside of an hour, hour and a half or something. So I could actually, I'm, look at the range this thing's getting, so check this out. 8.7 amp hours got me 25.6 miles. So this is already getting better mileage than the other one because I'm using the batteries in parallel. Those are 35 E cells inside those, by the way. It's a, each one of those batteries is 20 series, 10 parallel. 
Look at that waterproofing right there. Waterproofing. It's beautiful. Uh, so there's um, this was already waterproofed underneath the tape and this white boarding material. It's like cardboard, but a little harder, whatever that is. You know, I can stab that. Uh, this I could probably throw away. It's a two-wire BMS, not a three-wire. So why they even gave me another port is uh, beyond me. Unit pack power makes some nice batteries. So this is 35 E cells in there. And what was this? Yeah, it's pretty nice. But anyway, so if I have, I have 70 amp hours over there. So if I'm able to go... 25.6 miles on 8.7 amp hours and that means if, to, if I actually use the entire 70 or I put another 25 or 30 amp hour battery there I'll be able to travel the entire globe on just my bike and there's Erica by the way everybody say hello to Erica Erica wave yeah this is pretty cool this is a nice place to nice place to relax see y'all later